The Nikon Z6 series has become a fan favorite among both photographers and videographers, known for its well-rounded performance, impressive image quality, and robust build. As rumors and leaks about the upcoming Nikon Z6 IV swirl around the internet, enthusiasts are eager to know what the next iteration of the Z6 line will offer. While nothing is confirmed yet, there's already a lot of speculation about what could be coming next. From sensor upgrades and burst shooting capabilities to video enhancements, improved stabilization, and autofocus, the potential for the Z6 IV seems promising. In this breakdown, we'll dive into the latest leaks and rumors that have surfaced from various sources. Let's take a closer look at what we might expect from the Nikon Z6 IV, based on what's been speculated so far. First, let's talk about the sensor, which is always a key focus for photographers and videographers. Based on the latest leaks, the Nikon Z6 IV is expected to come with a resolution somewhere between 30 and 33 megapixels. This would be a modest step up from the Z6 III, providing more detail and sharper images, while still staying well below the higher resolution range of the Nikon Z7 series. The idea behind this resolution range is to offer a good balance between image quality and file size, appealing to both professional photographers and enthusiasts who need sharp, detailed shots without the enormous file sizes that come with ultra-high resolution sensors. Interestingly, there has also been some talk about the Z64 potentially offering a 61 megapixel sensor, this would be a huge leap compared to the current expectations. However, this higher resolution seems unlikely at this stage, as it would place the Z64 in direct competition with the Z7 series, which might disrupt Nikon's product positioning. The 3033 MP range seems more likely, offering a middle ground between the Z6's 24 MP sensor and the Z7's 45 MP sensor. When it comes to speed, the Nikon Z64 is rumored to maintain the fast burst shooting performance that has become a hallmark of the Z6 series. The Z64 could feature burst rates between 14 to 20 frames per second, which would make it ideal for action photography, sports, and wildlife photography where fast-moving subjects need to be captured with precision. If the Z64 can deliver these speeds with improved autofocus, it could be a solid choice for high-speed shooting scenarios. This could make the Z64 a reliable tool for professionals who rely on capturing split-second moments, offering faster processing and enhanced performance. Moving on to video, which is an area where the Z6 series has always excelled, the Z64 is expected to bring some notable improvements. According to recent leaks, the Z64 could support oversampled 4K recording at 60 frames per second, a major step up from the Z63's 4K capabilities. The increased frame rate would give videographers more flexibility in creating smoother, high-quality footage. Even more exciting, some leaks suggest that the Z64 could even record 4K at 120 frames per second, though this may come with a crop, as seen in some other high frame rate 4K video recording implementations. In addition to better frame rates, there is speculation about a potential upgrade to the camera's raw video capabilities. The Z64 might feature an updated 6K RAW codec, which would be a significant improvement over the current options, providing videographers with higher quality video and greater flexibility in post-production. These upgrades could make the Z64 a highly competitive option for content creators looking for a versatile hybrid camera that excels both in stills and video. Audio features are another area where the Z64 is rumored to improve. Nikon is expected to upgrade the audio preamps, giving users more control over audio levels and improving sound quality for on-camera recordings. This would be especially beneficial for filmmakers and vloggers who require high-quality audio without needing to rely on external microphones and audio equipment. Clearer sound and better control over the audio levels would make the Z64 an even more appealing option for creators who want to keep their gear minimal while maintaining high production value. The Z64 is also expected to see enhancements in the in-body image stabilization department. The Z6 series has already been praised for its stabilization capabilities, but Nikon might take it a step further with the Z64. Rumors suggest that the Z64 will come with even more advanced IBIS, which could include an active mode design for handheld video shooting. This would make the Z64 more versatile for content creators who need to move quickly and capture smooth footage while on the go. It would also be a major advantage for run-and-gun videographers who don't want to use a tripod or gimbal for every shot. Improved stabilization would give the Z64 a smoother, more cinematic feel, making it easier to create professional-quality video content without relying on external stabilization gear. In terms of design, the Z64 is likely to retain the hybrid form factor that made the Z63 so popular. 
Nikon has made a name for itself with ergonomically friendly camera bodies that are comfortable to hold, especially for long shooting sessions. It's expected that the Z64 will maintain this design philosophy, offering a comfortable grip and robust build quality that's weather sealed to withstand challenging environments. Additionally, the Z64 is likely to retain the fully articulating touchscreen, a feature that has become a favorite among vloggers and content creators for framing shots at various angles. The electronic viewfinder is another feature that may receive an upgrade. Some rumors suggest that the EVF in the Z64 could be brighter, making it easier to compose shots in challenging lighting conditions. However, the specifics about this upgrade remain unclear, and it's uncertain whether this improvement will be significant enough to make a major difference in everyday shooting. When it comes to storage, the Z64 could feature a hybrid dual card slot system, which has become a popular configuration for modern cameras. Leaks suggest that the Z64 of May include one CF Express Type-B slot and one SD UHS-2 slot. This would provide users with the flexibility to use both high-speed CF Express cards for quick data writing and the more affordable and widely available SD cards for regular shooting. This hybrid setup would allow photographers and videographers to choose the right card for the job without being locked into one format. Autofocus is another area where the Z64 is expected to see some improvements. Leaked information suggests that Nikon may refine the autofocus system further, potentially offering faster and more reliable performance. This could bring the Z64 closer to its competitors in terms of autofocus speed and accuracy. Nikon has always been known for its solid autofocus, but it's clear that improving this area could help the Z64 stand out even more in the competitive mirrorless camera market. Another area of improvement could be thermal management. As 4K and higher resolution video recording continues to put a strain on camera internals, better heat management becomes essential. The Z64 is rumored to include improved thermal performance, which would allow it to record longer video sessions without the risk of overheating. This would be particularly beneficial for content creators shooting extended video projects or vlogs. Finally, let's talk about price. Given the expected upgrades, the Nikon Z64 will likely be priced higher than the Z63. The Nikon Z64 seems poised to be a significant upgrade over the Z63, offering a more powerful sensor, faster burst rates, enhanced video capabilities, and improved autofocus and stabilization. While these rumors are far from confirmed, the leaks point to a camera that could be a serious contender in the mirrorless camera market, appealing to both professional photographers and content creators alike. As always, it's important to take these rumors with a grain of salt until Nikon makes official announcements, but the potential for the Z64 is certainly exciting. If you're a fan of the Nikon Z6 series, it looks like the Z64 will be well worth the wait. Stay tuned for more updates and official announcements as we continue to track the latest Nikon leaks.